But the match we're going to be watching right now uh, could be a real cracker. Mark Williams against Jack Lazowski. Mark Williams, a twice world champion, of course. And here's Jack in frame two. Still really just starting out in his career. He's lost the first frame. Mark Williams has won the first frame, and as you can see, he's got him snookered in the second. A fascinating battle, this, a clash of generations. We've got an all-time great, Mark Williams, against a player many of us feel has a bright future, Jack Lazowski, currently 35th in the world, but uh, making great strides. We saw him at the World Championship, and uh, I think we're going to see plenty more of him in the years to come. But at the moment, he's uh, framed down, and as you can see, he is snookered here. And the danger here, of course, is a lot of open reds, so he's got to be careful what he does with the white here. Mike Allett alongside me for this one, and uh, I think we're both looking forward to it, Mike. Yes, as soon as uh, both players came through yesterday, I certainly was, actually. I thought this could be an absolute belter between these two. They're both attacking. Hang on, he might have hit one here. Well, he has, but he's left everything on. But uh, Mike Williams played very well yesterday, and that, that was a cracking match between him and Liam Highfield. Every credit to Liam Highfield, he really did play well and pushed uh, the Welshman all the way. And uh, sorry, Darius, he seems to be coming back to good form, doesn't he, Mark Williams? Yes. What was noticeable about that match is how positive he was. It, it, it lasted less than two hours. The average frame time, 12 minutes. They both really attacked, and uh, Williams came through in uh, a good decider. Nine. Yeah, I was, I was doing the other match, actually, John Higgins, and, and these lads came back five minutes before the others at the mid-session interval, and they finished up two and a half frames in front. Mm -hmm. Well, Jack uh, himself won against Tian Peng Fei 5-0 in 55 minutes, so it uh, suggests this one he's not going to take too long. 16. Okay, the tap in the middle of these two. The tummy bug, actually, the first couple of days she was out here. In Wushi, but seems okay now. We've been sort of ticking the boxes as regards this new campaign. We're wondering how certain players are going to play and how they're going to perform this year. This is another guy that we're going to keep an eye on as well, actually, thinking that um, how he's going to play as well. Well, talk about cues. I've been looking at cues actually. I think that's a new cue that Mark Williams is using. 20. It's a split. He, the split he had before was above the splices. So, Sean Murphy, John 20. Higgins, Mark Williams all using new cues this year. It's my specialist subject this year, David. Well, it's a great spot again, I've got to say. Well, it is because the split in the cue is down the splices. And his old cue had the split, uh, the joint, above the splices. So he's also chosen to change the cue. But I don't know why, because he played quite well with the other one. Well, one thing he's always done is uh, he's never been one to go into the pack straight away, but he's going to have to here. No more loose reds. Oh, he's missed them completely. It's a big target, that. He'll be disappointed with that shot. I think what he's doing is making a new start this season. He wasn't impressed with his form last season. I know he's been practicing hard since the World Championship. He got to the quarterfinals in Bulgaria at the European Tour event there. Well, I spoke to him in Berlin, actually, after he got beat in the second round there, I think it was, and he said he'd just had enough. He was fed up with the game, disillusioned. He wasn't playing well, hates playing like that. And uh, he was thinking about then, about packing it all in. And I did mention, I think I've said it before, that I did mention to him, he said, you're too good. It's too good a play, you know, you've got a few years left in you. But uh, obviously the enthusiasm is back. Well, he's caught the blue on that occasion, but he has left a possible pot onto the right corner here for Jack. Williams has seen his two great contemporaries, Ronnie O'Sullivan and John Higgins, return to winning ways. Of course, O'Sullivan winning the World Championship. Higgins has just won the Bulgarian event. And uh, I'm sure he'll be thinking, well, there's no reason why I shouldn't get back in the winner's enclosure. He's always been good at uh, dominating matches, intimidating opponents. He's got that easy style around the table when he's playing well, floating the balls in. 
Oh dear. That wasn't great. But uh, could have finished worse for him. Uh, is this a plant? No. Mm, it's not bad. He's managed to cover that red. And if he hadn't, I think Mark would have taken this on. But now he's having to find a good safety. If he comes off the edge of the pack there fairly on the thick side, as we look at Hawkeye's view, then he should be able to avoid the red that's there on the left-hand side. I think it's a straightforward safety back to the ball carrier. Looking for a thin edge. Jack Lazowski for. Jack deciding to have them put back. Well, it'll be interesting if he plays the same shot again and misses again, because then he will be warned. Looking for a thin edge. It's not great. He's offered up a possible pot here. Well, he was hoping to get the cannon. Just, uh, he's just lost the white a little bit. I'm not sure whether there's any value in taking the black on. Difficult to get onto the next red. Well, if he does, you'll probably need the white around the blue spot area. Jack Lazowski won. Well, in case you're wondering, one. His long potting was very good yesterday, and that uh, I think is a sign of someone who has been practicing hard. It's always been an important part of his game, getting into frames with good potting. Mm, hang on, gone too far. Anyway, but there. Again, disappointing. I mean, there's so much space there to get on one of those reds. Mark Williams, three. Again, it's not a great safety shot. There's a possible pot on here. Well, he didn't hesitate with that one. He likes to attack whenever he can, uh, Jack. He's pretty much in the mould of uh, Judd Trump. Used to practice a lot together. I think they still do. He's seen the success that Judd has had, and he wants some of it. And why not? Well, that's where Mark Williams is hoping to finish. Got a chance to steal the second frame now. Not a difficult ball on the table. Yes, and he has beaten Williams before. It was last year, their only other meeting, a PTC in Gloucester. And for those of you attempted to say, well, it's only a PTC, it was in a semi final. So Williams would have played well to get that far in the tournament. Lazowski beat him 4 3 and very nearly won the title, just lost out in the final 4 3 on the black to Stephen Maguire. He had that terrific win over Judd Trump in China, in Beijing, at the end of last season. 21. Terrific match that was. Got to the quarter-finals. 
22. And uh, qualified for the Crucible as well, so he had a good back end of the campaign. Yeah, he was very impressive in beating uh, Cheng Peng Fei in his last match, 5-0. Cheng is a good player. 38. Well, if the pink goes, that's perfect, which obviously it does. Just stun down for this final red. Nicely played. Well, they're all there. You just felt that when Mark played that safety shot, that it wasn't absolutely perfect. There's a possibility that he could steal the frame here, and it's on now. 45. Best of nine, David. We might need all nine to split these two. Well, I wouldn't complain, because uh, these two players, both playing well, both play entertaining snooker. Going to need up to the blue here. Fifty-one. Fifty-four. Another player able to switch hands then and knock them in both sides. Some talent. Fifteen. Well, this is the one he wants. It's been a good break, this. He's a very, very dangerous player, this young man. So, 63. 63. And Mark Williams has seen enough. As I say, good break that from Jack Lazowski. Just one error from Mark Williams and he was punished. So it's game on here. Mark Williams won, Jack Lazowski won. We'll be back live with more from Snooker's Wushy Classic right after the break. So Mark Williams to break in frame three. It's one apiece. First of five to go into the last 16. And uh, the winner will play Anthony Hamilton. He had a great win earlier today. The Sheriff, he beat uh, Stuart Bingham 5-2. The Sheriff of Pottingham. Hmm. Yeah, there'll be celebrations today in Pottingham, or there would be if it existed. Good angle. Yes, uh, Williams brought that red down the table from the break-off, but it was covered by the brown. Touching ball has been declared by our referee, Michaela Tapp. Great pace. I think it's noticeable, David, as well. I think the tables have just speeded up, haven't they? Over the first two days, there was a little bit, what would I say, what we call a little bit, a bit lumpy. Look at that one. Oh, well, I thought it was safe. <laughs> what a shot that is. And uh, the boys are having a little bit of trouble just moving the balls around the table, especially the white, but they seem to have settled and uh, the heaters have kicked in. Seem to be playing nice now. In fact, one of the players came off yesterday and they tweeted, they said the, play the tables were playing lovely. And it wasn't the match table, it was the outside ones. Of course, he's going to scatter a few. He, well, he hasn't gone through far enough. He'll be having to look for a safety here and he's got to be aware of that red down the table. Black is potable, but left-handed, stretching over a red. You can see the blue. Might just put the white towards the yellow pocket. Jack 
Yeah, that was about the safest place. Well, Mark, a little bit unlucky to see that uh, red come out there. And again, we might see Jack take it on. He likes these. There's another one. Well, he's got the cannon again. One. Don't know whether he's got a shot on the pink. There's the distance. Yes, he doesn't miss many of those, does he? Neither does Williams, for that matter. Attacking again. Oh, outrageous. What a shot that is to get back for the blue as well. We did say this lad is fearless. He doesn't really care who he's playing. It's all about what he does. He's not bothered about what his opponents is doing, which is a great attitude, really. Yes, and also it's the ability, of course, to do it on the main table in a big arena, in a big tournament. He did that against Judd Trump in China last season. Five. Five. Won't be best pleased with that, though. He's just slightly the wrong side of the blue. Is he trying to use the knuckle here? Clever. Very clever to get back for the red. Mm, a little bit careless. Yes, it, it, the player reminds me of is Neil Robertson when he turned professional. I watched a lot of him in the qualifiers, Neil, and he was a raw talent. And uh, didn't take too long for that rawness just to be ironed out. And I think uh, there's a little bit of that still in Lazowski's game. Well, that, that was difficult queuing, but even so, it was a pretty disastrous finish for Williams. He's a terrific talent, Lazowski, and he'll learn, I guess, the all-round game as he continues in his career. So another chance, he's had a few in this frame. Seven. It was noticeable yesterday that uh, Mark Williams, he didn't try and sort of tie Liam Highfield up and use his experience. He, he was played the same sort of game. He attacked all the way through the match. Seems to be the same strategy today. Great for us. <laughs> well. Great entertainment. Well, it makes sense because he's a naturally attacking player and sometimes you can sort of grind yourself down, never mind your opponent, if you start to go negative. Well, pink down the table, black on the top cushion. Would help if you can get him behind this black. 
And you, he's already got a 44 point lead, so a couple more reds with blues would be enough. 25. Mm, won't be best pleased with that one. He actually took the red in the corner of the pocket and he's got the wrong angle on the cue ball, but uh, well, I fancy him to knock this in and stay on this right hand red anyway. No, don't let me down, Jack. Bang in the middle, he's hitting them sweet. Mm, well, Mark Williams just knows he's got a game on now. I think he knew that anyway, but it's pretty obvious that Jack's playing very well and uh, Mark's going to have to be careful here. 31. Have we done that one slightly? And he still needs another red. So that's not a great positional shot. I don't know whether he'll take the uh, the green on. I think he might just lay him behind the pink off this brown. Well, that's a great visit. And he's got the Welshman in trouble here. Well, it was uh, good thinking, trying to get the brown safe. Got the cue ball in behind the pink, snookering him all the reds. Aye, aye. Oh, he's hit the black. Well, 58 in it, 59 on. So, of course, that can go back. Yeah, I think the black, as you say, the black needs to be a little bit further to the left. There we are. Well, not quite right. Well, he needs a snooker now. It won't be going back again. And now that red's in, it's going to be 2-1 to Jack Lazowski. He's played a pretty solid frame here, hasn't he? So three four-point snookers to tie. Mm, can't see it really, but you never know. Hang on, this looks very good. Great shot. Problem here is he, need, he needs blacks with reds. If you're going to be potting reds, he's got to pot the black off them. Yeah, I wonder if he's got a. Well, I'm going to say he hasn't got an angle. Gone back for the pink. One. Well, he's going to have to go in. Uh, and I think if he misses this, David, there might be a concession. Mark Williams, one. Yeah. Jack there is indeed. So, yes, it was a good frame, as you say, from Jack Lazowski. Potted well and a uh, good bit of tactical stuff at the end as well. And he's in front. And Mark Williams, the twice world champion, is behind 2 1 it is to Jack Lazowski. It's quick fire stuff. I think we expected that between these two. And Williams knows he's got a match on his hands with this lad. So, one more frame then before the interval. With Jack Lazowski leading Mark Williams 2 1, we're back with frame four after the break. Run away in frame four. Mark Williams trailing 2 1 here. He's got away with that. There's always the problem when you change into a new cue that you've, you know, you've sort of switched from a cue that you've been playing with for years. It's the confidence factor. When these boys are close in, it's not too bad, but from distance, you have to sort of uh, get the confidence in the cue. A couple of shots that March played from distance. Was, oh, hang on, Jack, that's a poor one. But, um, yeah, I've just noticed a couple of shots from, from distance March struggled a little bit with. There's the under the body shot.
John Murphy, another player playing with a new queue this year, but unfortunately for him, it was forced upon him, it was broken. But quite good with that, she and Sophia, though. Not here this week, didn't qualify. The other top player who didn't qualify was Mark Selby. It's his birthday today, he's 30, so happy birthday, Mark, if you're up at this hour watching. Hmm. Just could have done with a little bit more. I think Jack might just have enough angle here to try and get back for the blue. He's not missing much. No, and uh, from distance he's been excellent, hasn't he? Might be one or two alarm bells ringing here if this goes 3-1 at the interval. Mark Williams will have to think about what's going on. Yes, and he's been in this position, of course. He's been the young gunslinger, the new kid, kid on the block, coming along and beating the top stars. He was doing that 20 years ago now. Talk about young players being intimidated by the greats. He can work the other way as well. When you see a talent like this coming at you. Perfect. Can he nudge on to that red to get on the black? Oh, well, that's absolutely perfect. Four. What a shot that was. He's in again. Don't be surprised if this is a big break coming up here. He looks totally relaxed out there, Jack Lizowski. He's in control of himself and everything that's going on. far for the blue. We'll have to play the yellow now. But there are a couple of reds you can play on there. The white and one. The one at the back of the pack. Let's not forget this first prize of eighty thousand pounds to the winner this uh, this week. That's a lot of money. to the middle, it's done down for the black. 31. Nicely played, a little bit of check side on the cue ball there. Just a little cannon into the reds to hold the white at this end. Hmm, well he's been a spectator in the last frame and a half. Well, he was playing the little cannon and uh, maybe just slightly took his eye off the pot. That could be an important moment there. If Williams can punish him, maybe get to the interval 2-2, that will give Jack maybe something to think about in the break. 
Yeah, we saw Mark in the chair there, David, thinking uh, it, it was three. It was going to be three-one. He was thinking, I'm not going to get another chance here, but he has. I think if there isn't an, an Achilles here with Jack's game, it, it sometimes gets ahead of himself, doesn't he? And he throws one in now and again, which he's done there. You know, he can get. No, let's not say it's careless. Well, can't say it's careless, but I mean, really, he should have knuckled down there. He could have easily made it three-one. Well, he can drop him behind the black, which will help. Well, he's not been punished. I think he's just tried to pinch a little bit of the angle there to stay on the black. He'll be annoyed with himself. Yes, myself and Joe were yesterday were saying that uh, these pockets are not generous. They seem pretty tight on, this t on these uh, match tables. They're all played to the same template in all the tournaments, but some seem to... pockets seem to play different on in some tournaments to others, but these seem pretty tight to me. Well, will he take the blue one? That's a big shot. Well, he's not holding back. That was out to one. Well, it's no good to him, of course, finishing there. Mm, he's got the problem with this red on the left-hand side. He might just slide off the blue here and take the white down towards the brown. He's got to try and cover that red somehow. Just 28 points in it then between these two in this fourth frame and two reds on the table. Yes, this is the sort of frame where I think you would probably fancy Williams because uh, he does win a lot of scrappy frames. He has done all through his career. Some players don't like them. Stephen Hendry would be a classic example of that. But Williams doesn't seem to mind how the frame goes. He can win it in several visits rather than necessarily just one. And as we've seen with that shot there, Mark Williams, one of the best tactical players in the game. As you say, David, he's got the patience as well with it when he needs it. Well, this red will go to the corner. Everything else is fairly safe. He's walked away from it. Yes, and uh, we've seen Lazowski knock a few long reds in in this match. Uh, that was close, but didn't drop. Well, a chance then for Mark Williams. To get himself right back into this frame. It's not easy where the balls are situated. The red nearest the blue will pot. And then somehow he's got to open up those on the top cushion. Seven. 
Well, twofold that shot. He knew that he could get the snooker if he missed the pot. Jack's got to be careful here. He could go around this red. Well played. Cagey stuff then, 21 points in it. Zaski, uh, he looked good early on, but just missed that black to the left corner when he was nicely in. And he knows this frame is far from over. Well, again, look at that for a safety shot. Well worked out, well executed. I think he was hoping that one or two more reds would have come out there, but he's only just chipped the one out. That's the non-hitting area. Not difficult to hit these reds. Well, he's caught it on the right angle. As always with these, got to be careful that you don't push a ball over a corner pocket. That's why he's played it that way. But there will be distance between them again after the shot. I can tell you, John Higgins has equaled the highest break at the tournament. He's had a 1-3-8, so he's equaled Davy Morris's uh, effort. And Higgins leads Deshawat Poonjang 2-1. Well, I think he would have liked that white in because it's just caught the knuckle and left the red on. Again, though, it's not finished great. It's hard work, this frame, at the moment. So just laying the little snooker behind the black. Got to be careful here. So easy to leave a red on. Back cushion, side cushion. Well, it's wide. And uh, that will go back. Better angle. But he's ten one over. Could have done with a full ball contact on that first red. So Mark has the chance then. He's forced the error. He's lost the white there a little bit. He knew that he was colliding into the blue to bring it more into the open. The, the pot is still on, but it's more difficult now. Mm. Well, he'll be disappointed that he's only got four out of that. Yes, it's a, it's a nip and tuck frame. It's one of those frames you kind of you sort of forget at the end of the match, but it's still as important as any of the others. Yeah, good shot from Jack there. 
Can Mark see enough of this one to take it on? Might better kick it in with a bit of side. Well, better to hit on the thin side. But where's the white? Didn't need that because ball in hand. This red near the black will pot. Well, he's been so reliable from distance all through the match, and there again, that one goes in. Yeah, just slightly the wrong angle on this blue, though, unless he can drop this in dead weight and play the red down the cushion. Might be twice across. Well, it's been reliable over distance, but I didn't fancy him to miss that one. He had to play that with a lot of check side. That's a great pot, especially when he was awkward over the blue. Mm, don't know whether he'll be taking this on. I think it's full ball for the safety. Well played. Mark Williams, six. Still got a chance here, Mark Williams, to level the match up at two apiece going into the interval. It's an excellent snooker. Yes, when he's feeling good, Williams, he's a very patient player. You know, he, he didn't just whack that. He thought about it, what he was doing. Wasn't frustrated by not getting on the red. As I say, he does win a lot of these sort of frames. Oh, and a miss. Yes, well, this will be fun putting these back because that was just... Uh, there was only three balls. It didn't move there. Um, just caught the brown first. I think uh, Michaela might need a bit of assistance here. Do that in a well, Jack is pointing in the right spot there for the white. Well, they're, they're right angled. Just need moving slightly. Yeah, there was more in the middle of the table. Yeah, that's uh, that's it. That's uh, not far away, actually. Yeah, that's that's pretty much right, I think. Oh. She's done well there. He's trying to create the angle. He's trying to bounce the wide into the cushion here to get the wider angle. Take two. Good hit. He'll settle for that. Well done. Doesn't take long, Jack, does he? Uh, David, <laughs> to think about what he's going to play. It's like one thought, bang, straight down. Let's uh, let's get on with it. It's interesting, actually, how many of the left-handed players in the game have been instinctive players. You think of Jimmy, Neil Robertson, Judd Trump, and Jack's the same. Played one, that's a good shot. Well, the red is potable, he might take this onto the center, and they're all there. If this goes in, it could be three one. Well played. He's not that sort of player to refuse chances like that. Nicely on the blue. This could be 3-1 now. Well, if it is that, after this frame, it's food for thought for the Welshman. Six. Be a very good frame to win. Just fancied with Williams' experience when it went scrappy. 
he might be favourite, but uh, he's in his seat. Done with a little bit more on the white there. Might need the rest again being left handed. Well, he's playing it right handed. Here we go. Thinking about it. Needed that white to travel another couple of feet. He's just going for the mini butt now, I think. He's got to be careful because he's stretching over the black. And this still needs potting. Well, Tried the shorter version, that's not long enough. Always difficult to play these when you put the extensions on because it throws the cue a little bit. Well, that's plan A and B out the window. <laughs> now he's gone to plan C, <laughs> which is with the rest. Well played. So the Brown and Mark Williams is going to need a snooker. Yeah, he's just had a quick glance at the scoreboard as well, so he knows. And it will be well. Mark knows. I think if this obviously he will. If this goes in, it's three-one at the interval. He'll have a bit to do in the second half. This man is full of confidence. Well, it's two great pots there. There was pressure on both of those. The green with the rest, the cue ball on the side cushion there for the brown, but he knocked it in all the same. Well, he's playing like it's a practice session in the club, isn't it? You know, and that's when players are dangerous, when they can come to the table and play like that. Well, he's shown the other side of his game in this frame. He went tactical, but he stood up to it, and he's won the frame, and Jack Lazowski is in control here. Mark Williams is playing well, but he's behind at the interval. It's Lazowski, two frames away from a place in the last 16 of this Wushy Classic. He leads 3-1, and uh, there'll be more to come from them after the interval. There'll be more to come from us after the break. And so the players return from the interval will be looking to turn this match around. Good break off shot. Well, I didn't want the kiss on the brown, of course. He's left this red over the corner. An early chance then for the Welshman. Well, it's OK. He's got the green to the middle. Two or three reds in the open. situations really that when he's got chances like this that he wants to try and win the frames in one visit if he can get frames on the board quickly get back into this match nicely played Twelve. Thirteen. Mm, that could have been better Put himself under a little bit of pressure with this one now. And in playing the cannon, we we'll often see a few of these missed. Well played, but he's out of position. Well, it's a great recovery pot. 20. And he's on the brown. But I don't think he can avoid the yellow with the cue ball here. 
can't see where the next red's coming from. He could lay in behind the yellow. Could lay in behind the green. Well, he just had enough angle, but where's that white? Mm. Well, he hasn't left Jack anything on, but even when he played it that way, I wasn't quite sure where the next red was coming from because there was nothing available in the pack. Don't know why Mark played that really, the brown, because there was no value in it. I thought he might have just laid the snooker. He's just struggled a little bit from distance, Mark uh, David, hasn't he? Un unlike Jack, actually. I mean, it's probably attributed to the new cue, still getting used to it. I don't know, because he, he potted a lot yesterday. So mm. uh, maybe it's just how well Jack Lazowski's played has put a bit of pressure on him. That's fair enough. I didn't see that one yesterday, actually. I know you did it with Joe. But as you said before, this is a, a massive frame for him. Mark Williams, of course. 4 1 behind, that's a, even, you know, that's a tall order. Even with his talent. Well, if that keeps going, it will be good. Not quite. Well, Jack's likely to just drop this red in that's near the blue and stay on the black. He's done it before. I think he's thinking about that now. He's looking at the red near the blue. He might just attempt this to the left corner. Yes, he's not going to pot everything, but the fact that uh, he goes for so many is a cause of concern for Williams because, you know, you think you play a pretty good safety shot and all of a sudden you see something flying in. Well, this is going to split a few. Yeah, that was a little bit careless from Jack because I don't think he expected... It didn't, uh, he wasn't playing for the white to go that high up the table and leave that red on. He came down to have a quick look at things before he attempted the pot, but he's left... Uh, well, Mark to uh, to get in amongst them again, and this is a great chance here to make it three two. Eight. Yes, a chance you expect Mark Williams to take. Last week at the Asian Tour event in Yixing, he made his three hundredth competitive century. Not always thought of as a break builder, but uh, he's knocked in the hundreds down the years. A couple of maximums in there as well including one at the Crucible. at the top of his game he's always been a delight to watch this lad because uh, he just strokes the balls around the table it's effortless really is a good cueist great temperament he's always so laid back there's not much that flusters him that is for sure on and off the table Here. He could play a little cannon into those two reds just above the uh, the black. He's gone the other way. Well, has he gone far enough? If he hasn't, that's careless. Still got this one into the green pocket. 
if he misses this, we might see a reaction from him. No, he's never in doubt. But it's not perfect position. Back in good position now. Well, we knew. Sorry, David. Like I said we knew the importance of this frame really for him, and it's it's looking good. So far, so good. Certainly, I was just thinking he's always been a good traveller, Williams. He's won six ranking titles in in Asia, three in China, three in Thailand. Lazowski, I'm sure, thinking about that uh, low percentage red that he took on to let him in. Thirty-five. Yeah, I think the, the disappointing for him with that shot is that he came round to have a look at where things were. There's nothing available to the left middle, but just hit it too hard and left the white too high up the table. And uh, it's cost him dear. 42. So the pink, and uh, it should be 3 2. Well, he's done what he had to do here. Really make sure with this one that will stop Jack from coming back to the table. Williams' his first half century of the match. Could be a century. 57. Well, that's the first part. I don't know anyway. You can concentrate on the next frame as well to try and 60. level things up. Seventy two. Seventy nine. Well, appropriately mentioned his 300th century last week, David, and his slightly going to up his tally here. 82. Yes, I think he would have made a lot more. There's been times in the past where he sort of got to 80 odd and thought, well, let's just get on with the next frame. Hasn't really given it his all, but uh, seems to be here. 86. Yeah, I think Stephen Hendry is a good example of that. He never backed away on 80 odd, did he? That's why he's at the top of the tree. I always remember we used to practice with him in, in Sterling, and he was always like that. Even if it was at 80 and 90, and two reds on the cushion, he was always looking to clear. Yeah, relentless. <laughs> A difficult one for the ton. Excellent. Great queuing. So 104 clearance from Mark Williams and in emphatic fashion he gets himself right back in contention. That was an important frame for him. You can't ask for more than a century. So Jack Lazowski now leads here by three frames to two. Good match this and Mark Williams has come to the party. Century break, 104 and he trails 3-2. It's bubbling up nicely isn't mm. it? Again, this is still a big frame, though, for the Welshman. Enough to make it three all. Can he knock this one in? Oh, 
quite late. Ah, unlucky. One. Didn't quite get enough on the white just to get around the back of the black. Well, I think it's only a safety now. And the black's going to be tied up as well. Black. Mark Williams. Well, the encouraging thing, at least the long red went in. He hasn't potted that many in the match. And as you mentioned earlier on, he, he, there was a few more going in yesterday when he played uh, Liam Highfield. Well, he left that one on. Jack was able just to kick that in with a bit one. of side. Oh, guess what's coming. Jack Lazowski won. Neil Robertson is 3-2 up now against Martin Gould. John Higgins is playing really well against Deshawat yes. Poomjang. 4-1. He leads. Mark King 2, Marco Fu 1. So that's a little bit of a crawl there. And uh, the other match, David Morris 2 each with Gerald Green. I'm going to stick my neck out this early, David. I fancy John Higgins this weekend. He, he played really well to, to win in uh, Bulgaria, didn't he? He did. Terrifically well. He's in form. He's in good enough form to win here again this week. Yes, uh, a bit like Mark Williams. He was disappointed with how the season ended up. The one just, just gone. He's got the new queue. He's been working hard with it. And it certainly reaped rewards in Bulgaria, where he beat Ronnie O'Sullivan and Neil Robertson to win that title. Didn't get much tougher than that. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. When you do get a new queue on board, you, you put more intense practice in, you know, just to, to get used to it quicker. It's obviously worked. Yes, he played as well in the, in the tour event last week in China, so it shows how seriously he's taken things. Another oh. one in. One. That's unlucky. He got the kiss on the green, it would have been nice, but the brown is still potable. But then if he got the kiss on the green, he would have had the perfect angle on the brown to possibly get into them. As you can see the black and pink tied up. He's going for this, though. Nicely done. Good position. Well, if you can get an angle on the blue here, this, he's got one or two loose reds, but he might go into the pink and get them open. Six. Not from there. just taken the pace out of the white he wanted that back a little bit further but this should open up a few actually Twelve. he's lost the white might still take the brown on <coughs> lovely sentry in the last frame he's at the table here looking to try and win this frame in one visit if he can. Well played. That was a confident pot. Well, he's looking at the pink there, but um, the percentage is back for the blue. It's not a, a wide gap to get in between those two reds. He's gone for it, though. 
Might have gone. Is he on the pink? He's definitely on the blue, but if he's on the pink, that's uh, it's the bonus because he wants to open up the reds, of course. But uh, it's blocking the path while he's not on the pink. Hang on, hang on. Wow. Wouldn't have mattered if it hadn't gone in because he hasn't left anything on. been a bit of a spectator over the last uh, 15 minutes or so. I guess it's that old cliche, isn't it? The interval came at the right time for Mark Williams, but it's true it did, because he, he lost a, a pretty lengthy frame to go 3-1 down. He probably would have appreciated just 15 minutes. He's looked very positive, very confident coming out since then, as we saw with the century in the last frame. Um, while he ponders this, I can tell you Mark King won the fourth frame, so he leads Marco Fu 28. Well, I just wanted to avoid the yellow, of course. Well, he's opened things up. He's got the black free. He's got the reds open. So it's going to be a chance for someone soon here. Another one goes in. How many of those has he potted today? One. <laughs> Outrageous. Well, I think that was a slight kick. And the white hasn't travelled far enough. He's played on the back red, obviously, but Five. he hasn't got there. I think that is on the break. That was, and that was a pity because it was a great opening red. Yes, it did sound a bit clunky, didn't it, that brown? She took the pace out of the white. Safety for Mark there. I think it's just about a snooker, actually. Hmm, that's not very inviting. Yep, snookered on all of the reds. Well, first glance doesn't look too bad.
another little safety jewel this an important one as well three three or four two big difference in the score line well mark had a quick look at the pot to the corner to stay on the black but not now Well, he'd be disappointed there, catching the brown. If it misses the brown, Jack's in trouble. There's a possible pot on here. I know he's tucked under the back cushion, but don't be surprised if he knocks this in. Not this time. So a chance for Mark then, but a red from distance. Well, this could be a frame winner, this shot. But it's got to go in, obviously. One. Mark Williams, one. So keeping things tight, keeping the pressure on. Well, played two good frames, isn't he? The century in the last and uh, in control of this one as well. Exactly what he needed. Well, red's everywhere here, so he's got to try and find a hiding place <coughs> for the cue ball. Well, obviously, the one on the top cushion would be the, the target, but how does he get there? for speed here. <laughs> <laughs> These lots of top guns, aren't they? <coughs> well, could have been worse. But if this red goes in down the cushion, it should be three apiece. That's if he takes it on, which I think he will. One. former world champion here has played two very disciplined frames to get back into this match. Nine. Expect him to do enough here to make it three apiece. Yes, he's thinking clearly, isn't he? He's playing good match snooker. He made the century in the last frame. He's played a, some good tactical stuff in this one. Didn't panic. Just Seven. waited for the chances and pounced. He'll need one more red after this black to make it 3-3. Three, three. It's been a good match this and it's just got a whole lot closer. Well, it was the best of nine, and now it's the best of three. Thirty-five. So the red stays out, but lovely. the frame is over. Mark Williams then from 3-1 down at the interval, remember, has come back to level things up at three apiece. So Mark Williams has come back from 3-1 to 3-3. Three, three. This is frame seven.
Nice shot. Turns 22 next week, Jack. It's a great time to be a young snooker professional. So many tournaments. He doesn't have, of course, a uh, wife and children, so it's easier for him to be taking lots of weeks off around the world. My goodness. Well, has he got away with that? It was a calamitous shot, but I think he has. A little shake of the head from Nazowski. That could have been 4-3 to Jack there. I was just thinking if Willie Thorne was watching that <laughs> shot, David would be going, never happened for me. <laughs> it might be. Amazing, isn't it? You know, I mean, he couldn't have hit it much worse and uh, he's got away with it. Yes, and the double trouble is the red down the table. You can't put the white down there. Otherwise, it would have been fairly straightforward to play the safety. Difficult to just touch a red as well. He might leave one on. Well, I suppose there is a shot that he can play. Probably try and sneak off one of these and get the white on the left-hand cushion near the bolt line. Won't be too bad there. <laughs> nice two. <laughs> the William Tell Overture. He wasn't expecting that. I think it's safe to say as he's pondering this rather complicated shot. <laughs> <laughs> sort them out, Michaela. Mm. Well, it is Royal Ascot in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> it's more appropriate there, I think. It's always the phones with the most annoying ringtones that seem to go off. Is he playing the red to the corner here? What a shot. Oh, unlucky. I thought that was in. Great effort. Has he left anything? Well, he studied that for a long time. He wasn't that far away. It seems that this one will go, though. Well, Mark definitely got away with that safety shot that he attempted, and just look at these reds. Yes, I think uh, Lazarski felt there the safety was going to be as risky as tagging a pot on, and he was got very close to the pot. As I said earlier, these pockets uh, are not generous, but the chance has passed to Mark Williams, despite the fact, of course, he originally played a pretty disastrous shot, or it looked like it was, but he might well benefit from it now. Very strange that was. Yeah, I don't know whether that's moved because he was a fair way away from the pocket. It, uh, it did seem to slightly pull away. One. Let's give Jack a chance though that he didn't expect.
Eight. Nine. I don't know about that, David. I was enjoying that. <laughs> well, Neil Robertson uh, on the other side is 152. That's what that little burst of applause was. Good win that. Martin Gould, a very dangerous player. Seven. So Neil will play either Mark King or Marco Fu. It's currently 3 1 to King in that one. He's overdone that. That's a little bit careless. Obviously played on the blue to the middle, but will he take it on to the corner? Looks like he is doing. shot again didn't hold back on much this lad no he's very very confident isn't he 28. needs another one here though well played 29. yes he believes he's going to pop them it makes a big difference he's not getting down hesitantly getting down and striking the white with great authority Mine were always a bonus when they went in. <laughs> well, a little bit of pressure on this one. Yeah, not easy, tucked under the side cushion. Missed it. Well, there you go. Yes, he was always going to take it on, but as I said earlier, you know, you're not going to pop absolutely everything. It wasn't easy. So, once again, the chance passes to Mark Williams. It's been a very open match this, very much like Mark's match yesterday with Liam Highfield. It was pretty similar to this. Those three reds together a little bit awkward, but you can get a cannon into the right on one of the three. That would be perfect, actually, a little bit further on in this break. Oh, hang on. Mark He's missed that red. He was walking there. He thought he got that. Again, you know, that would have dropped on some tables. These pockets don't give you anything. He thought it was in. Himself an angle on the colour here to try and just nudge these reds open, whether it would be the pink or the black. I think the pink actually would be okay. Just leave it off straight to the middle. 
you can kind of into one of those three reds. Well, I think that's just about perfect. Because you can just push into the loose red here and leave the other two. I think he's got enough angle here to do that. He's played on that red, that's fair enough. And if he's held the spot, this goes behind these two reds. OK, let's just check in the spot. He doesn't want that to go on. Well, actually, I think he's OK. There's plenty of room. Need to the two reds, but can't see him missing from here. And uh, well, these should have been marks, really. He missed that red down the cushion. He was walking, thought he got it. Well, that's not a great shot. He's just put himself under a little bit of pressure now. This is missable from there. Well played. So confident. Yes, he couldn't have struck that much better, could he? And he needs this red now, and he should be 4-3 up. And what great entertainment this match is. Whoever wins now. future of the game is in good hands with the likes of Jack Lazowski and many other young players now coming to the fore. We saw Liam Highfield yesterday. The new system with the uh, flat draws means they don't have to wade through quite so much qualifying. Just one match to get here and then when you get here it's about taking your chance and that's what he's done in this frame. Yeah, we've got Luca Bissell from Belgium as well. He didn't qualify for this event but he'll come through. As we watch Mark in the chair. Well, he's got a bit to do now. 41. So I don't think the lad that impressed me was the local lad, Zhu Yu Long, who played against Jimmy Robertson. He's 15 years of age. He's got a future in the game if he decides to turn professional. 45. Yes, Mark Williams, when he turned pro, of course, the game was open. He had to win eight or nine matches to qualify, and he did do, because whatever the system, the cream rises to the top. 50. And Jack Lazowski has certainly risen to the occasion in this frame. He's entertaining the crowd now. And Mark Williams is behind again. <laughs> 56. Come on then, what are you going to do with the black? Yeah, pick a pocket, any pocket. <laughs> Hang on. Nearly. I think he enjoyed that. Mark Williams missed that red to the right corner. It looked like it was going to drop. He thought it was in, it wasn't in. Jack Lazowski takes the frame. He's back in front. He leads here in Wushy. 4-3. Jack Lazowski to break in frame eight. Terrific match this. He leads 4-3. He needs one. Williams needs two for victory. Mm. Can young Jack here put the finishing touches? I'm sure Mark will have a lot to say about that, but it's a good break-off shot. One of those two great frames he played, of course. Mark Williams, when he was 3-1 behind, he's got to do it again. He's going to progress. thing that impresses me as well about Jack um, David he stood his ground didn't he mm. okay Mark missed that red down the cushion we thought that was him but the clearance was terrific it was he looks uh, very determined no signs outwardly of any nerves that was close
Oh dear, I didn't want to catch them. Actually, I think he's got away with that. He's covered the one to the middle with the blue. He's been a little bit fortunate. I think Mark still has this one on the left hand side though. Mm, yes, well, the jack was upon the shot. He knew straight away that it, it was careless. But that was still a good pot to get in. I just wonder where the black might go to this right corner. I was just checking that now because these it did go, but these reds have been moved. It's obviously fairly tight. Let's just see how he plays this shot. He either will play on the black or back up again for the blue. Well, he obviously thinks it goes. But he's overhit it because he wanted to try and get rid of the red that's near the black after this shot. But a little bit more to do here now. But uh, if it is tight, you want to be as straight as possible on this black. Well played. Hello. Well, he was thinking about getting rid of the offending red there. Twelve. Well, can Mark put us into a decider? I think it, this match deserves one. Careless, short of pace, 30. played on the red to the right middle. Might not play it now, well he is doing, but where's the colour coming from? 31. Played on the pink, he's overdone it slightly. And that was from blue to red really, there's the careless shot. He's had a quick look at the blue. This still needs a, a good shot here to, well, not only pop the pink, but stay on the red above the black. Well, he's got the pink. <laughs> it's amazingly, he's, he's under hit it. Just shows if you just slightly lose position in this game, it just gets harder and harder. Thirteen. Oh, that's not a bad nudge. Yeah, just held his hand up there. He tried to. He was planning to drift past the blue, but uh, that was a nice little bonus. Might go into them here. Just catch that red left of the pink. Well, he's played on the one now as the black. That's fair enough. That could have been better.
Well, I'm not sure whether he's on one. Well, this has got harder and harder as the break has gone on. Yes, ever since he, he lost position, it just, as you say, got harder and harder. 51 then. It's a good lead, but it's not enough yet. Hang on. Might have covered it. Oh, he's playing a slight swerve, I think, with some side. One. <laughs> some potty attempt, wasn't it? But it's given Williams a set here. Well, again, showing the discipline that he showed when he was 3-1 behind to level up the match there. Well, it's a match worthy of a decider, and we're not too far away from getting one. It, it just looks like, like like John Higgins as well. He's got his enthusiasm back. He's, you know, he's he, he wants the, the ambition. He wants the the wins again. You know, he yeah. was in sort of a no man's land a few months ago, wasn't he? Just you say disillusioned with the game, but he's playing well again, which is great to see. Well, snooker's required this black kit. You would feel would make sure. Certainly one more redwood, and it means we'll be going into a decider. 19. In what's been a really entertaining match, we're going to get a dramatic finish. He may play on, it's three snookers. Everyone wondering if he's going to. Well, he's got out of his chair. But uh, barring those snookers, it's going to be 4-4 four, four here. Well, that's end of frame Frame's now, surely. Frame he's conceded the frame. It's four each. And we're going to need one more frame to decide it. The last frame, 4-4 four, four between Mark Williams and Jack Lazowski. It's Williams to break off here having just won the eighth to take us to this decider. We did say, didn't we, Dave, at the beginning that we might need all nine to split these two, and it's now the case. Yes, and it's a good break-off shot. He's not left anything on, which is important to uh, considering the, the long reds that Jack lazowski has been knocking in in the match. Mark Williams locked in trouble when he was 3-1 behind. But you've got to, I guess, put him slight favourite now. Well, one frame shootout, you never know. Well, it's worth reiterating that uh, the only other time they played it went to a decider. That was last year in the semi finals of one of the PDCs in the UK, and it was Lazowski who won 4 3. Decider is always interesting, no matter what the standard of the match has been like. But this has been a good standard ma of match, certainly very entertaining. And you're just um, wanting to get a chance, aren't you? Just, just one chance. I mean, sometimes the, the frames are over in one visit, or it can get a bit scrappy. Oh, hang on. Ooh, got away with that one. We might have still left a red on here, though. The red that's just to the left of the pack there, the loose one. Let's have a look at it, but might play a safety. Well, that same red then. He's had a, he's gone. We've had a look at that one as well, but could be risky.
Oh dear. Fluke. One. That's the other factor, of course. Luck can come into play. Don't know if he's got the angle on the yellow here to get close to the reds. If he if he has, he'll play it. But I think it's the wrong side. Well, he's tried to get on this red on the right hand side here. Could have done with that white running through a little bit more. But I think it was a bit of a heavy contact. I just wonder whether he might still take this on down the cushion and. You can't really leave anything on. If he misses it, he could stay on the blue or one of the bulk colours. Great shot. It was bang in the middle, but he's a little bit straight on this blue. We can run through for the red that's nearest the pink, though. Ooh, that kicked. Nine. Well, a little cannon into the black would be perfect. Ten. Well, I suppose in some ways, David, it would be sad to, to lose on a fluke, really. Yes, it would. Particularly as the standard's been so high throughout the match. But it does happen. Has happened. And they all count. Seven. Doesn't help when you have them against you. Been a good match, as we've said, between these two, but it's also nice to see Mike Williams back playing well. He's always uh, a great player to watch when he is playing well. Oh, he's just chipped a little uh, red out of the pack as well there. That's helped. question of course is will Jack get another chance perhaps not 32 33 well it's going to come down to what happens when he develops the reds if he can get on one in opening them then could well be end of match well he might drive through them here for the black or back for the blue. Top spin, going through them. Well, he decided to try and just chip one out, but he played on the black pair, but he's got a, a cut on the pink, but I don't know whether he's got the angle to get into the pack. I'm very surprised he played it at that pace. I thought he might have gone in with a little bit more pace and got them open. He's just going to try and float this black in for the red. going in the middle but look where the white's finished yes it doesn't get any easier does it <laughs> it's dead straight it's okay missed it oh I thought he'd missed it well Jack thought he had a chance there this well he's got another red actually to the right corner I thought he might be going into them Well, normally, you see these players go into the pack, but March has chipped these out, but he'll have to after this one. Yes, he's going to need at least one more. And frame and match could be about this next shot. Mm, went in gently, but he's got them open. This has been a super break. OK, he fluked the red at the beginning, but it's still been a, a super break here from Mark Williams. Yes, it started with luck. 
It's been skill since then, but is he on this pink? I don't think he is. I think he's snookered himself. That is incredible. And there's enough on here for Jack, unless Mark takes the blue one. 65 in the frame, 67 on. Frame and match ball. Can he knock this in? Well, it sounded a bit kicky, but it's gone in, and uh, Lazowski needs a snooker. Didn't play a position on the no. red just in case. That was very clever. Yeah, it didn't sound a great contact, but anyway, it went in. Oh, that's gone in as well. What a cracking red that is. Tight on the back cushion. It's going to be Mark Williams going through. Well, yes, he got the fluke, David, but the break has been top draw, hasn't it? It has, and it'll give him a lot of confidence, I think, winning in this fashion. It was a difficult break. I think he might just tuck him up here. And Lazowski, well, you've got to feel sorry for him. Williams did fluke a red at the start of that frame, so it wasn't a mistake from Lazowski. Yes, he's tucked him up, and uh, there may be the handshake. There is. It's Mark Williams who wins a very entertaining match. It was a good 71 break in that decider. He was 3-1 down, he was 4-3 down. But Mark Williams seems to be, well, returning to his old self, looking confident, certainly very positive. He took the match out well. He beats Jack Dazowski by five frames to four.